Mr. Baptiste Boisseau, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you here to the Basquiat Bar today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's really a pleasure to be here with you in South Africa in Cape Town. And I would say welcome to South Africa, but it turns out I think you've actually been here before. Yeah. What brought you to South Africa the first time? The first time it was in 2004 uh, in a wine farm to do a winemaking. I mean, you've had such an amazing history and now you've been to South Africa and worked with wine, but you're actually from the region of Cognac in France. Yes, I was born in a small village uh, in, uh, in the region of Cognac. So Cognac is a small town in the southwest of France and it's the only place in the world where we grow the white grapes that will uh, go under double distillation to make cognac. So it's really a wonderful and peaceful place, really tiny. But uh, finally, I decided to go back to my roots, uh, to my family and what I like, that is the cognac region. So how old were you when you joined the house? I was 26. And what was the journey like from joining at 26 to becoming cellar master? In fact, it has been uh, seven years of training. So I went to, through all the stages, first uh, starting with the aromas of the grapes, how to make the wine, then how to make the distillation. So I spent lots of time at the foot of the pot still. And finally, uh, I have been chosen by Pierre Trichet in 2011 to take the position as the deputy cellar master. And uh, then during these three more years, it was much more focusing on the final blend to make XO, for example. And finally, in 2014, she decided to retire and she passed me the baton and uh, she, she told me, okay, now you are the next cellar master. You're the cellar master of the house of Freddy Martin. How does it feel knowing you're the fifth in a generation that's lasted for almost 300 years? I mean, that must be an incredible pressure for someone who's under 40, and when you started, you were quite young as well. You understand from the very beginning that time is key. It has been done step by step during seven years. Of course, I, I totally understand and have the sense of this privilege and the pressure it represents. I'd really love to take advantage of having you in the building and having access to your amazing palette. So why don't we go discover what makes the XO very special? It's the time. Let's go for Let's XO go. tasting. Let's go. I'm really keen to discover more about this beautiful bottle that's in yeah. front of us. So I believe this is the XO variant. Yeah, it's the XO from the house of René Martin. Exactly. And can you tell me where the name XO comes from? XO, it means uh, extra old. So extra old is the, one of the category of aging we have in the cognac appellation. Uh, that is meaning that the youngest eau de vie must be at least 10 years old uh, to be named XO, extra old. And from the very beginning, the bottle shape has always been the same with this uh, radiant shape that is highlighting the superiority of the terroir it comes from. And bringing all that heritage in and that knowledge in, what's the yeah. best way to experience an EXO? My favorite is to have it on ice. Mm -hmm. So just after having tasted it neat, you can be, put a big ice cube on it and it will refresh the sensation you will have on the palate. Uh, of course, you can also uh, imagine to have it in cocktails, mm -hmm. like an old fashioned, for example. So something that will really respect the quality of the blend. My advice is to take the time to appreciate it, all these facets, and to play with it. Well, speaking of discovering and having fun, yeah. I've been staring at this bottle, I'm very keen to try some. Yeah. Let's do that. So, what we are going to, to taste, the Rémi Martin XO. So, this type of glass, we are really uh, nice to uh, appreciate it, because you can first have it neat, and then, to have another experience, you can also um, enjoy it on ice. So it's really uh, the best way to start to understand uh, what is Rémi Martin XO, for example. And people often swirl a wine glass. What should you do when you're tasting a cognac? No, my advice is really to take the time to approach it. No need to heat it, no need to swirl, because it's really something that is so opulent that you have to let all these aromas come to you. You are attracted by the nice color, and then you go on the nose, and of course, you want to taste it. I do. Yeah. Let's taste it. <laughs> so 
the first sip to discover all the opulence of aromas you will find in the Rémy Martin. So. That's lovely. Yeah, you see the opulence, so you have lots of mm. aromas coming one after another, and it's really soft. And it really seems to make that symphony. You can get yeah. each one of those notes as they, as they reveal themselves. What we want is the cognac to be harmonious. Cheers. Cheers.